today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about a red lip. Let's begin. So first, we're going to prep our lips because in order for your lips to last all day, it's important to have a really great canvas to work with. So first, I'm going to use a lip scrub to get rid of any texture on my lips. The scrub is really nice because it tastes like sugar and even if you swallow a little bit of it, it's a-okay. Now that we're done scrubbing our lips, I'm just going to use a wipe and remove any excess product on it. it plumps your lips too. Now that we exfoliated, it's a perfect time to put on a mask because your ingredients can really penetrate your lips. This one is super duper cute. It's the shape of a lip and I'm just going to pop it right on. The final step to prepping your lips is putting on lip balm. But this step only applies to you if you tend to have dry lips already. I'm actually feeling pretty dehydrated right now, so I'm going to prep it with some lip balm. Now that we're all prepped, we're ready to apply our red lip. The first step to a perfect red lip is to line your lips. Now let's say you don't have a lip liner on you. The best thing you can do with the tube is using the pointy part as lip liner. See what I did there? I just used the pointy part of the lipstick tube and I've lined the outside rim of my lips. So let's say you're lucky enough to have a lip liner lying around. I'm going to use this and this will give you great definition. Now that your outline is done, I'm going to fill it in with my lip liner. So having a liner is great because it's like a buffer for if your lipstick fades throughout the day, you still have another layer right underneath it. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the lipstick. Don't be scared, it's just product and we can always go in and wipe it off if we make a mistake. And I'm applying the Absolute New York Lipstick in dark red. I always flip the lipstick over for my bottom lips just so I can get a more precise application. So a foolproof way of keeping your lipstick on for the rest of the day and without smudging is using a Kleenex and some powder. So when you grab a Kleenex, there are actually two plies. We're only going to need one. So go ahead and rip it apart. Now that you have one ply, this is perfect for laying it up right on top of your lips. Grab a powder brush and pat over your lips. And now your lips should be smudge free because basically what you did was set your lips with powder as you would with foundation on your face. Just to give you proof, I'm going to kiss the back of my hand and you'll barely see any color on it. So this is more of a satin finish, but if you want an ultra matte finish, I would use a liquid lipstick like the one from Elizabeth Mott. All right, so we're gonna start with some quick liner. Okay, now I'm going to fill in the rest of my lip with the lip liner. Now we're gonna pop on Elizabeth Mott's Color Is Bay Lip Lacquer in Red Chili. I really like using the doe foot applicator because it gives you a really precise application. Here's the finished look of the liquid lipstick. Pro tip, if you're gonna have a drink, make sure you drink out of the straw so you don't smudge your lips. <sighs> Removing red lipstick can be pretty tricky, so I'm gonna show you how I do it. So first, I'm going to tap on some oil-based makeup remover to dissolve the red lips. Then I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and sweep it away. And in case if there's any color left on your lips, use a damp toothbrush and just buff it away. The final step, because after all this, your lips are pretty freaking dry, we're going to apply some lip balm and we will be done. There you have it, the perfect red lip routine.